John, you guys. And tomorrow, DJI is having a gigantic sale on all their FPV system products. So get ready to try DJI, and I'm about to tell you why. So stay up late if you have to to get those in your cart and get checked out once it crosses midnight tonight. These are beyond Black Friday levels of sales. This is very rare, so pay attention to what's going on. Come on, do it, do it. So here's a list on all of the price slashing that's going on. The air unit is going from 179 down to 149. The radio is going from 299 down to 259. Most notably, the goggle is going from 529 all the way down to 409. That is huge. That makes it substantially cheaper than the current flagship models for Fat Shark or Orca, which are at $499 and $599 respectively. The FPV Experience Combo, which is a goggle and two air units, probably the best value here, is going from $819 all the way down to $639. And then the Fly More Combo is dripping down to $739. So what does this mean for us? If you haven't tried the DJI system, you really kind of have to. And it's been a little bit cost prohibitive, not because it's not cheaper than Fat Shark, because it is already before the sale. But if you already have a set of 300 or 400 or $500 analog goggles, do you really want to add this on there? Well, now with the ease of adding an analog adapter, you can really have this one set of goggles accommodate your analog quads and your digital quads Either one of these can be accommodated by this DJI system. Now, the racing community is still trying to figure out how to track the time of these, but after getting 20 or so racing packs going back and forth between my analog quads, this is ready. This is ready to be flown by a good number of racing pilots, perhaps not the very top, but DJI is putting out updates all the time. Now, why is it important that a lot of us try this system? No one else came in here to give us this digital stuff. I remember about a month or two before DJI came out, people were wondering, will, will we ever have digital FPV? Will we ever have digital FPV? And people were thinking, no, it's still two, three, four, five years away. And then boom, DJI just gave it to us. Now it wasn't perfect, but they've made so many updates in that 10 or 11 months time that it's been out that it's ridiculous and they've addressed a lot of the latency issues, a lot of the bit rate issues. They've reduced, they've addressed so many issues. The Cadex Vista unit is out. The Cadex Nebula unit just dropped, which is only 125 bucks. So there are a variety of very affordable options to allow you to fly this on micro quads all the way up to full size quads. Now, why is it important that we try it? Even if you don't think you're going to stay with it, I recommend that you at least try it. Now, why is that? Our FPV market is small. DJI is very large. So they are probably with this sale. They do a couple of these sales throughout the year just to test, you know, market potential. And right now, although we do have a decent amount of people that have tried this, this is super small potatoes for DJI. I guarantee you the total number of people that have these FPV DJI systems right now is not even gonna equal the number of Mavic Minis they're gonna sell for Father's Day in a few weeks. So is it worth them to keep giving us updates? Is it worth it to give us a V2 a year or two down the road? Now a lot of people are wondering, is the V2 coming out? Maybe I shouldn't buy right now. I have seen no indication that it's gonna come out for at least a year or more. I'm not super in the know, but I have um, been hearing what a lot of the FPV business owners are saying, and they're saying, over a year or more. DJI timelines are not like Fox here, where they keep giving you the same product over and over again, and they just add a number after the name. You know, what changed from the Fox Seer Predator V3 to the V4? Not that much, that's not how DJI rolls. When you get a V2, it's a true V2, and there's a variety of top to bottom design changes. So that takes time development, and I think that they're still probably trying to test us. Are we deserving of a V2, are the dollars there for them to figure out if it's worth it for them to even put the work and the effort 
for are not people going to try FPV because it is a lot more difficult to get started than a lot of their other consumer grade drone products that they sell. Price point during this sale is going to be low enough to where if you don't end up staying with it, you can sell it and make your money back. So give it a try. If you do try it during this sale, I got links in the description below. That definitely helps my channel. It helps sales alerts group. It helps me to keep um, putting money back into the channel to review a lot of this stuff. Uh, but even if you don't try it there, try it somewhere. We want to be able to demonstrate that we are worth mile, mile market for DJI so that they will continue giving us this incredible support. We've seen updates for this at an astounding rate that we're really not used to. You know, there's no big companies in FPV prior to this. There's no Sony. There's no Samsung. There's no Microsoft. It's not worth large companies efforts to R&D for this small market. So DJI took a chance on us. Let's show them we were worth that chance. Thanks guys. Do it. Do it.